Hello and welcome to another video for Myers Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we have got something that is very, very rare indeed. We are looking at a framed part of the piece of an Ice Warrior head that was seen in the episodes of Doctor Who between 1967 and 1974, um, as it shows you on this particular mount. <clears throat> um, so you can see an image of the actual mask as it was before it was broken up into pieces, which is in the center. Um, and on the left hand side, you can see two images. And I believe one of them is from the Ice Warriors, uh, which was Patrick Troughton. And the other one is from the um, Monsters of Peladon, or the Curse of Peladon rather, uh, which starred John Pertwee. Uh, it could be the Monsters of Peladon, it's one of the two. So the bottom one is definitely Peladon, and I think the top one is from the Ice Warriors, um, uh, which was, uh, say, the, was the second and the third Doctor. Um, and on the right-hand side is the actual piece of the mask, um, which is sitting behind a, a window, obviously. Um, and it says, Doctor Who, a piece from an original Ice Warriors head, seen in episodes of Doctor Who between 1967 and 1974. Now, I'm just going to zoom in um, on the particular part so you can see. Um, let's just angle the camera down. So I don't want to get too much of a glare on it. Um, and there you can see, obviously, it's been broken off um, from the mask. You could probably, if you look hard enough onto the actual picture, you could probably see where it's actually come from. Um, but to me, it looks like the lower section, uh, around about the chin area or something like that. Um, in fact, it looks exactly what it is. It looks like it's, it is the chin section, um, just because of the way that you've got the cutout um, just here. There, and it looks like the chin section was just literally there. So I believe that's the actual part of the, um, and you can see, if you see the circles just in the um, section there, and if you look onto the actual mask itself, you can just see a few of those circles. So um, yeah, I'm pretty certain that's the chin section um, in this. So, I mean, this obviously, is ultra rare i mean i don't know how many of the this particular pieces were produced it's quite a big piece um it's probably about three centimeters and it's, actually let me get the pick the ruler up and we'll have a measure of it so the actual piece uh, i'm glad i did actually because it's about four centimeters um wide by approximately three and a half to four centimeters tall so it's quite a big lump of um mask that was um that's obviously been broken off into pieces to for these uh mounds to be made and i don't know how many was actually made as i say um and i've only ever seen this particular one uh, obviously there must have been more that were done was produced with it from that mask but i've only actually ever seen this one um mound um, but it's made by the movie uh, Reliquary, uh, which is on the top um, left-hand corner. Now, I'm just going to turn it round. So, I mean, that's the thickness of the of the glass. So it gives you an idea of how thick that mask piece is as well. Um, so there we go. Uh, on the back there, you've got the movie Re Re Reliquary, Certificate of Authenticity. It says this certifies that the accompanying pr product display contains a genuine prop swatch object used in production filming of the stated production not valid without an original signature below and it says item ice warrior piece was used in production of doctor who and at the very bottom it's got signed by i can't read the signature and it says the reliquary com so that is the certificate of authenticity and it is in this mound um, so it's quite displayable um, could very easily be displayed on any wall or anywhere or in any section of your um, um, collection um, it is very very rare and uh, and well i'm sure everybody would be delighted to get their hands on this unfortunately this particular item has already been pre-sold so it's not available to be purchased on the site um, but there's many, many other items that are available, many, many other Doctor Who items, rare Doctor Who items 
they're all available on the uh, Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website and you'll be able to find many, many vintage Doctor Who items and many, many vintage toys, games, collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be the item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.